you show you the shoes? Please. Oh my God. This is kind of cool.
in Japan. So sweet. Some vintage teacups, which I obviously went to Japan knowing I wanted to get some teacups. Look at how cute these are. So sweet. I have a friend coming over for tea today, so this is perfect. <clears throat> and they do a traditional wrapping with handkerchiefs and fabric. She works for this brand damn damn so and I obviously one in Japan you want some beauty products so they're all these natural beauty products like a oil serum we love an oil purifying cleanser mud mask hydrating mist mochi mochi luscious cream love uh, hyaluronic and vitamin C serum we did a few tea ceremonies, but my favorite one was at this place, Takizime, and she's so sweet and gave us some of their brown rice tea. And then I also bought some. So now that I'm having a kid, not having a Christmas tree isn't an option. So I told Adrian, everywhere we go now, we have to get ornaments. And an actual ornament, but we're gonna, um, this is becoming an ornament. It's a whistle, but it's gonna be an ornament. We got baby's first stuffed animal. Are you kidding? Dead. We also got baby's first backpack. A little red backpack, Japanese backpack. So cute. That's somewhere upstairs. I'm not gonna go find it. Speaking of tea, when in Japan, I had to get some matcha. So is that another tea ceremony that we went to? at Yugen in um, Kyoto. Is my like screen that oily? Okay. Yeah. Yugen. Highly recommend. As mentioned previously, there's bully in every city. I went to all the bullies and all of them are sold out of their powders. That's okay. I was able to get some of my plum oil. And Bully is just the best because they do your name all beautifully. It's so special. Bath essence, like bath salt. I think this one translated into like fairy bath, which sounds great. Adrian got this cute sumo mug. Sumo was actually going on while we were there. Didn't get tickets, but we watched some of it on TV. My favorite notebooks 
we're literally a quarter of the price there. So I got the other one. I got another small one. I also got some other notebooks. I don't know. I just love Japanese paperware and pens and whatnot. I got this little notepad just, you know, for writing lists. This really cute red notepad. Okay, close. I didn't go that crazy because as mentioned, it's really difficult right now to dress for being pregnant. And I'm not gonna buy a lot of clothes that I can only wear right now. I don't know, it's a confusing time. I got a lot of socks. I love Japanese socks. A lot of like these sort of knit, nice thick knit socks. Some of them are being cleaned right now, but you get the gist. I got a lot of Japanese socks because also the clothing there, like anything that is Japanese made is four to seven times the price here in America. So, and I know I love Japanese socks and my favorite store that used to be here that carries Japanese goods or that is in LA that carries Japanese goods is like appointment only and that's stressful. What if I just want to browse? Like my other favorite brands, which isn't Japanese, but they have a store in Kyoto and Tokyo is Base Range just for like basics. I got this turtleneck, just, I love a black turtleneck and it looks really nice, feels really nice. I got their underwear. So all of their underwear is 100%. Oh, it's not 100% bamboo, 94% bamboo, it's fine. I'm very particular about underwear. I prefer 100% cotton or 100% bamboo, but what are you gonna do? I also got this very cute slip dress. Very Carrie Bradshaw. Very excited to wear, a la not pregnant, because my ass would be hanging out of it. Also bamboo though, very soft. Did this comb, black comb digger song. I don't know, just cute. It was like $20, you know, find a comb shirt in LA for $20, haha. <laughs> got this really cute turtleneck from Capital. So cute. Let me put it on for you. So cute. Love. I got a pair of pants from Capital, which I tried on and these are for post-pregnancy. Like I literally look like a snowman, like round head, round belly, round pants. They're very cool, but I'm excited to wear these post-pregnancy. Running clogs for work and for the fact that tying my shoes is not gonna be as fun or easy. So dance goes cool. I just kind of in my head for like the last few months, I've been knowing, I was like, I'm gonna find a cute pair in Japan. Like I'm gonna find a cute pair. Cute freaking pair. These are actually Swedish made, but I'm obsessed. So I'm really happy I found these. I also thrifted this base range shirt. Just again, another nice basic layering top. Adrian found me this other Comme des Garcons shirt. I love a button down, so very sweet. And I found this top secondhand also. Ray ID, I don't know, never heard of the brand, but this is like good breastfeeding top. It's kind of where my head was at. Pretty much that. I got some incense as well that I'm obsessed with and I'm trying not to burn through the first week I'm home because I went to this Kaiseki restaurant in Kyoto and I went to the bathroom and I was like, what are you burning? They told me to play in the train station in Kyoto, which all the train stations in, like the major train stations in, these big cities in Japan are like like malls, like they're massive and there's stores everywhere. So trying to find this incense store at like nine in the morning, 10 in the morning, I could tell Adrian was like, was like, can we just go? Like, cause we were also trying to go to Osaka, but I was like, I need this incense and I'm really happy I found it. I bought one box, I walked out of the store and I was like, mind you, one box has 80 incense in it. And I walk out and I was like, I was like, I think I need to buy another box. And Adrian was like, go, like you're here, go get another box. So I bought another box. That's the Japan haul. Can't wait to go back and 
explore more and all the things. Oh yeah, they died. 